Hey guys, welcome back to NGB 2.0 and in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a zoom motion blur effect in GIMP. Now, it's actually super easy to apply a zoom motion blur effect in the GIMP editor. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo image in the GIMP editor. So this is my demo image present right here. And the first thing which we will do is we will create an outline around our subject. Now to create an outline around the subject, we will make use of the paths tool. So go to tools and then select paths. Now start creating an outline around the subject. So this may take a couple of minutes, but you can take your time. If for some reason you feel that you have not placed the point properly, you can quickly undo and place the point once again. You can also zoom in your image to place the points more accurately. Now, after you are done creating the outline and you are about to connect the last point with the first point, you need to first press Ctrl on the keyboard and then connect the last point with the first point. Perfect. Now press Enter on the keyboard and this will create a selection around the subject. Now next, what we will do is we will invert this selection. So go to Select and then click on Invert. And now we will apply the zoom motion blur effect. So go to filters and then go to blur and now select zoom motion blur. Now the moment you click on zoom motion blur, this zoom motion blur dialog will open up and inside the zoom motion blur dialog, we have three options, center X, center Y and blurring factor. Now, don't make any changes inside the center X and center Y option. And let's come to this particular blurring factor option. Now, blurring factor determines the amount of blur which will be there on top of your image. So if the value inside the blurring factor option is more, more blur will be present on top of your image. And if the value inside the blurring factor option is less, less blur will be present on top of your image. So currently the value inside the blurring factor option is 0 0.100 and this is the output which you can see right here. I would like 
to add a little more blur to my image. So let me just increase the value inside the blurring factor option from 0.100 to let's say 0.500 and then press enter. Perfect. As you can see, the changes are taking place. I think this is how I want my image to be. I'm satisfied with it. So let me just simply click on OK. Perfect. And now go to select and then click on done. And that's it. I've successfully added a zoom motion blur effect on top of my image. So this is how you can apply a zoom motion blur effect on top of your image using GIMP. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.